you identify E. coli, you do report out at 48 hours. Presumptive E. coli O15. I was never too good with people. Like, I had friends and all, whatnot, but I was just never, I guess, super extroverted, if you want to say. More of, definitely more introverted. So I figure we're given a chance on this earth to either do good or do bad or do nothing. And by being in this field, I think I'm giving the chance to kind of be a positive force in this world, and I can do it in my own way. My name is Dong Wan Yu. I am an undergraduate in the Medical Lab Science program, and I'm also the vice president of the Medical Lab Science Club. A lot of people don't know what medical lab science is. Truth be told, I didn't really know much till like a couple years ago. And so if you, the one way to think about it is kind of like healthcare detectives, the physician or the nurses, they're all on the floor, but you're kind of in the background. They say in the basement as a joke, but you're kind of doing the background stuff that they really need to diagnose and treat and monitor patients. The human body is like a puzzle. You know, every diagnosis is like a puzzle. And so we kind of help piece those puzzles together, and then the doctors get all the credit. But, you know, like I said, we're in the background. A lot of the things that can hurt us, you can't see with the naked eye. You know, they're invisible. That's why they're called microorganisms. And so, really, it takes very specific techniques to kind of uncover what's truly going on inside a human body. It's one of those things where you see it once or twice, and then you see it all over. You just develop an eye for it. So you kind of get attuned to what you're supposed to see and what's garbage and what's, what's kind of just background. They're right here. They must have I do my best to not see it as just you know, a blood sample or a urine sample, but as a vessel of you know, the patient and really treat the sample as I would a patient. It's kind of weird to think, yeah, this is a sample of their blood or this is a sample of their urine, but kind of making that connection to the actual patient that this is a part of them and that we should you know, do our best to identify, identify you know, what's inside this and what's harming the patient and helping the patient get better. That's, that's in the end, that's the goal. That you don't want people in the hospital. You want them out of the hospital. You want them do, you know, with their families, you know, running their lives. So that's, that's the goal. Negative. So if I have that on an exam, they can